got my touch back here. I, uh, over the course of my life, I've had some poor technology decisions uh, in devices that I seem to love but uh, have fallen by the wayside. So, in order to help the WebOS, which I really enjoy, hopefully <laughs> avoid being inducted into that same wall of shame, I'm going to show you a couple cool things here that, uh, that you can do on the touchpad that you may or may not be able to do on other devices. So, uh, this is Quake. It was released a little over a year ago for the, uh, the Pre. I was able to run it on my Sprint Pre Minus and with the exact same version it pulled it into the touchpad and I can play it uh, but I can't really play it because the on-screen overlays allow you to move around but you can't start a game, you can't do anything because you don't have a keyboard so I got the bright idea to go ahead and pair a keyboard with it and after fiddling around with a, uh, an Apple Bluetooth keyboard I finally got it paired and, and uh, off we went so let's start this bugger up So, as you can see, it starts up uh, pretty clean. It's got the overlays on there, so, but uh, I can go in here now and uh, let me load up a previous game that I had running. Previous game loaded, and let me get rid of those overlays. And off we go. So as you can see, I remapped a couple of the keys because they don't, they don't map up cleanly, um, but obviously I can move around now. blow a lot of stuff up, which is always the point in this case. So again, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it runs smooth. I can get in, I can uh, I can bring up the, the, the console, the visor, and load and save games and do whatever I want, and it, it runs butter smooth. So uh, overall, I'm, I'm really happy so far with a lot of things I've been able to do with the, the touchpad. And hopefully the, the new uh, over-the-air updates that are coming out here shortly should make it even uh, even better, more appealing to, to more people, so we get some more devs in there.